It was a race for numbers, work crucial in the tyre strategy. Two one-stop, three stops, but here on the driver ratings, it's time to rate the drivers for the 2024 Belgian Grand Prix. It is the last race, of course, prior to the summer break. We've got a month off just when things were getting spicy, but I think the way the season's going, it's going to get spicy after the break. But we're going to start right at the bottom, right? We're going to start with Cyber, Kick Cyber, Stake F1 team, whatever you want to call them. We have got Xu Guan Yu up, net for, up first, brother. 19th place, did not finish after five laps. I'm going to give him a 4 out of 10. The car's pish, but it was a wet quality. His teammate out qualified him by 2.2 seconds. For me, that's borderline unforgivable. Well, I'm surprised you only given him a 4. I'm going to at least take it down one. I'll give him a 3. I've been very disappointed with this guy. He has a lot of good things. I remember when he first came into F1, he was being hyped up as if he was the future, as if he was the next big thing. And uh, yeah, I just don't see it. I personally don't rate the guy. I don't see it either. I gave him a 4 because he didn't get a chance in the race, but I'm not going to pretend if he did, he would have finished in the points. Anyway... 3.5 that is. Up next we have got Faltery Bottas, qualified 14th, finished 15th. I think that's just where the car is. I'm going to give him a... I'll give him a 5. I'm giving him a 6. Um, I think that's about right, for, so that's a 5.5 for Bottas. Up next we've got the Haas, got Nico Hulkenberg, qualified 16th, finished in 18th. That's as poor of a weekend that you will see from Nico Hulkenberg. Like, let's be honest, man, the past five races, the guy's been delivering near 10s. If not 10s, he's been beating Perez on pace. He's been finishing best of the rest. But this was a... Uh, yeah, he's, he's allowed a bad race, isn't he? Yes, yeah, so I'll, I'll give him a four. I'll, go, I'll agree, four. I'll go with the four as well. Kevin Magnussen, qualified 17th, finished 14th. I will give him... I'll give him a six. Magnussen, I mean, he done all right. Uh... I'll give him a four. I'll give him a five. He tried a one stop. It didn't really work. Right up next. Is we... Ma do you think that's the last we'll see in Magnussen after this season? Yes, because um, Beerman and Beerman and Ocon are the team. What well, I like about next season is a lot of changes. Is there, is there just is there no way back? I'd say so. I mean, he's not old, old, but he's old. I just don't he, think he, he doesn't just he doesn't have the same reputation of like a Hulkenberg and Perez. And I'm not talking about Perez right now. I'm talking about a few years ago where he was like that midfield guy who never got the chance. Magnussen never really had the chance, but I don't think he will get the chance. And does he warrant it? Probably not. Um, anyway, Williams up next. Logan Sargent qualified 18th, finished 17th. It's a 4 out of 10 for me. It's like your teammates qualifying 10th, finishing 12th. What are you doing? Yeah, Sargent's just a, a guy that really shouldn't be an F1, but he is. Probably one of the biggest upgrades you'll ever see. Carlos signs for Logan Sargent. Yeah, uh, looking, looking forward to... They actually seen Williams with two, you know, competitive drivers. Because I think Sargent's been stealing a seat, just like Latifi did. Not good enough to be an F1. Uh, don't want to be harsh, but that's the truth. What are you giving him? I'll give him a four. Right, Albon, qualified 10, finished 12. I will give him a six out of 10. The Williams surprisingly did better in the wet than in the dry. So a six out of 10 for me. Uh, a six out of 10 is fair, I believe. Okay, we'll go with that. we've got RB up next, Yuki Tsunoda had a massive grid penalty, started 20th, finished 16th, did a one stop, did not work, I'll give him a 4 out of 10. I think that car actually had pace, so that's why he gets a wee bit lower than others. Yeah, it's more the strat, I'll give him a 5, it's just a, you know, right, solid Ricardo, down the board 5. Start at 13, finish 10th, give him a 7, got a point. Yeah, Ricardo. I think this season he's been up and down. Some races he looks good, other weekends he, he looks not so good. He did get a point, and it's, it's hard to get a point because the top four teams now are, are so far in front that realistically, if nothing happens to them, the top eight places should be out of commission. So points are hard to come by now for these guys. Yeah, I'll give Ricardo a seven. I think he was, I think he was good. All right, up next, we've got Alpine Gasly. Started 12, finished 13th. It's a five, bog standard five. Yeah, I agree. Five in the middle. Not, right. not impressive. Esteban Ocon started ninth, finished ninth. I'll give him a seven. That's a good drive. That is, especially in the Alpine, that I don't think has been good this season. Well, actually, I know it's not been good. Um, another guy that could be out of F1. Yeah, well, no, he's he's in. He got the half seat. Oh, did he? Yeah. Downgrade, don't it? That's a downgrade, but 
Well, right now it's probably an upgrade. Like, no, right now it's probably an upgrade, but if you were to say which team's going to do better over the course of years, you would say Renault. Renault. Up next, we've got Aston Martin. We've got Lance Stroll, qualifying 15th, finished 11th, did a one-stopper, crashed out in FP3. I'll give him a five. Um, was Aston Martin best of the rest? I'm not too sure, but here, yeah, he didn't make it count, did he? So, five for me. Yeah, uh, it's disappointing, isn't it, really? It is disappointing. Right, up next, we've got Alonso, qualified 8th, finished 8th. He was best of the rest. I, I, it's yeah, a seven I, I, for me. I, I, I'm, not, I'm not going to pretend. I'm not going to give Alonso a nine for finishing best of rest because I think when the car is best of rest, he should be there because he's clearly the best out of the bottom twelve drivers. Yeah, I can't give him any more than a. I'll give him a six. Six for eighth. He finished best of rest. Yep. All right, fair enough. Well, you take it bad, do you? Big man. Up next, that's Boggin. That's, that's I'll tell you who's up next is Sergio Perez. Qualified second. Did good. And then his arse collapsed by finishing P7. I know how that feels. You know how that feels. I'm, someone cried like a little bitch in our comments section about, oh, you give Perez too low a rating. Well, how about this for a fucking rating? It's a 4 out of 10 for me. That's generous. No, it is generous. I think, I think the 4 is mostly for what he done in qualifying. Yes. Because he's just went backwards in the race. Yeah, how, I mean... How can you... I mean, he finished 8th and it's like a distant 8th or 7th. Because Russell got DQ'd. So, yeah, I mean, just how can you be second? Who, he, what was the fastest car in the race for you? Like, what would you say? Maybe the McLaren. It was. I think it was the McLaren, right? But what I would say is, between the top four, there wasn't much. But I would say Ferrari were the slowest, and Perez, who started second, has ended up the worst at the top eight. Obviously, Russell didn't get classified, disqualified, whatever. But it's like to me, it's unacceptable. The guy finished. He was going to finish about twenty five seconds off the leaders. He didn't get the best strategy, but I'm giving him a four. What are you giving him? Three. Right. Max dominated quality, had the grid penalty, started at eleven, finished fourth. I'm gonna give him a I'm gonna give him a seven. It may seem quite low, but yeah, damage limitations and he didn't lose any points to Norris. It's a pretty good weekend, even if the pace wasn't really there in the race. <sighs> yeah, he got I mean he got pole, not his fault. He finished he started what eleventh. I mean he, he did come through the grid, made a couple of overtakes. Finished in front of his nearest rival. That's fair, but you know what? I just expect more from Max. I'm going to get a six. Got higher standards for Max. What's that? Higher standards. Right, up next we've got Forza Ferrari. Carlos Sainz started seventh, finished sixth. I think it was looking so good for him. But Ferrari put him on a one-stop without really knowing how to execute a one-stop. Like, they should have just kept him out. Way longer for me. It just shows you, though. If Carlos Sainz had the strategy flipped... Like Russell, start on the medium, go to the hard. Maybe he could have finished a lot higher. But P6, I think it's all right. I'll, I'll give him a 6 out of 10. P6, man. I'm just comparing to his teammate. His teammate did a lot better. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll give him a 6 as well. Right, Leclerc got pole position, even though he didn't finish fastest, and finished on the podium in a car that I believe was the slowest at the top four. So I'm going to give Leclerc a 9. A nine? Yes. It's a high rating. No, it is a high rating, but he's been shaky recently and he's bounced back here. No, he has. Uh, I'll give an eight. Eight out of ten, fair enough. Right up next, we've got Mercedes. Um, right, George Russell. Disqualified. Qualified. Disqualified. Qualified sixth. What I would say about Georgie Boy Russell is... The car was under fueled, right? And it was by 1.5 kilos. Now, the estimation about that is that it saves you about 8 seconds over the course of a race. So, that massively benefited them. But I thought, I still was, I thought it was a pretty good drive, so I'm going to give George Russell a 9. It's not his fault the car was under fueled. Or yeah. underweight, whatever. Yeah, I'll, I'll give Russell a 9 
It looked like a great win in the end. It turned out not to be, but it's not really Russell's fault. Yeah. Up next, we've got Lewis Hamilton. It's a nine again. Um, it would have been a 10 if he won on track. But for me, as we touched on in the few, I do think he lacked something that trying to get past Russell. And I'm not going to give him a 10 because Russell got disqualified. So it's a nine for me. Yeah, that's an odd nine for me, Hamilton. I, I don't think there's much to choose between him and Russell. No. Other than, you know, a strategy. Right, up next, McLaren, the last team. Lando Norris qualified fourth, started fifth. Oh, no, sorry, qualified fourth, finished fifth. I'm going to give Lando Norris a four, right, out, four, four out of ten. I thought he shot the bed yet again. Yeah, it wasn't his greatest race, was it? No. Opportunity here to take points off of Max, and he didn't do it. Oscar Piastri, started fifth, finished second. I thought it was a brilliant drive for Oscar Piastri. I'm going to give him an eight. And you know what? I, I think this kid's beginning to show that he's the real deal. Yeah, I mean, at first I thought there was a bit of a gap between him and Norris, but, I mean, he's beginning to pretty much every race. The last seven races, I believe he's outscored uh, Norris by 16 points. Obviously, Norris, you know, DNF at Austria, so obviously swung in Piastri's favour, but 8 out of 10, guys. God damn. How does that happen? Yeah, 8 out of 10 for me. Anyway, guys, leave your thoughts down below. And peace.